What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplay here on Head to Head Seasons. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you a video that is one of the tougher games that I've played so far. I'll be completely honest with you guys, this was a struggle. Absolutely a struggle. Red Falcon 27 was his username, or at least that was his team name. I'm assuming that's also his actual PSN name. But as you guys were aware, if you watched my last head-to-head -head seasons gameplay video, I did actually walk away with a win in that game, but because there was an error, I was not credited with the victory. So I am still here at 6-0 here in the eighth game of my head-to-head -head seasons. But we're gonna get things started here on the first play of the game on offense. I do have the ball. Giovanni Bernard off the left side. Oh, but I am just destroyed in the backfield there. Not a good start for me for certain. And I kind of figured that it was going to be a tough game after that very first play. And yeah, it didn't take long before I made my first mistake. I thought that I could beat Clay Matthews there on that slant with my tight end, but it was just not happening. Clay Matthews, for some reason, just made an amazing play in coverage. He was kind of beat for quite a while on that play, and then he just stepped in front of it at the last second to get the interception. My opponent obviously got the ball in the red zone pretty much, and he was able to grind the football here. Fourth and inches, though. I thought I was going to be able to stop him, but it didn't quite happen. The QB sneak is so difficult to stop in Madden, especially Madden 15 for some reason. So I really had a tough time there. But he was able to just continue to grind the football here. And we do stop him at the goal line. But it was just one play later. I'm blitzing everybody up the middle, guys. Nobody got penetration there, of course. And Anton Smith walks into the end zone for a touchdown. So I'm already down 7 nothing here. And it, <laughs> the frustration was kicking in, guys. I can't lie to you. I was really frustrated. But I wasn't going to give up. Still had to continue to move the football. I'm trying to do as much as I can to stay consistent with both running and passing the ball to not give my opponent any sort of indication on exactly what I'm going to do. We finally got our first run there on that last play that gained some significant yardage, but the very next play gets stopped. I decided to go for it on fourth down because I just couldn't see myself falling behind multiple scores in this game. I just couldn't allow it to happen. I had to play on offense and try and keep up with this guy's scoring. So I decided to go for it there. I, it was a good decision in the end, and I was able to pick it up. Moving the ball further down the field here, bringing up now a third and five. And I decide I'm just going to go right back to what's been working for me, passing it to the tight ends over the middle. And I apologize if you guys see a little bit of lag in the middle of the gameplay. That's Madden 15 online for you guys. I mean, I can play an entire game of Call of Duty, uh, Destiny, and we can have, you know, 16, 20 people in a lobby. And it just, for whatever reason, though, as soon as I try to play on Madden, it just starts to lag. So I have no idea. We end up throwing an incompletion there on third and long. And just, I decided to just kick the field goal here. I wanted to get some points on the board, like I said earlier in the drive when I went for it. Um, I decided to go for it there. Now, look at this. I get an interception here. There's three seconds left. Why are you not going down? No, Ladarius Webb, you bastard. If you go down there, I can at least kick a field goal and keep this game close. Oh my gosh, I was so irritated. We got that interception and, and it should have been, I, I should have just gone down, but I couldn't. Like, I, I just couldn't make my guy go down. And I, obviously I was frustrated. Very first play out of the second half. He beats me. He he moved his tight end into motion, or I guess I don't know if it was a fullback or a tight end, and that really threw me off with my safety. I was supposed to be the one covering that deep pass. End up allowing like a 70-yard completion there on the first play of the game, or the first play of the second half, excuse me, and he gets into the end zone shortly thereafter. Now look at how bad my run blocking was here through most of this game. On this play, we finally do get a little bit of run blocking, but the vast majority of these plays, and I cut out a bunch of them where I gained like one yard or got hit in the backfield for a loss of one. But, oh my gosh, it was so frustrating. Thankfully, I was able to do some decent things with the passing game. Uh, a lot of spamming to the tight end. Uh, it just, it is what it is. I mean, when somebody's got good corners like he did, he was able to keep up with my receivers for the most part. There just wasn't a whole lot of room for me. And I was able to throw it quite effectively to my tight ends for the most part. I did throw that interception there on that first drive. And then watch this here. Eddie Lacy is going to pick up the first down to set me up first and goal. And this should have been where I started to dominate, right? But that wasn't that wasn't going to be. I just I get destroyed here in the backfield, and I'm frustrated again. And this is the first play where I decide to throw it actually at a wide receiver down the field, and I get intercepted again by another freaking linebacker, man. Ugh, so frustrating. I mean, I threw a bad pass. I can't lie. 
Next play, though, we do end up getting an interception with a linebacker of our own. So what can you do? I mean, you, you got to take what you get. You know, I, I when I got that interception, I felt that second breath of life in my team. And Jordan Cameron makes them pay by catching a pass. And watch this here because I knew that he was running a lot of man coverage against my tight ends, and I just knew that I could beat him going over the middle again and again and again with those tight ends if he kept running that man coverage. Finally, we make it 11-14, to 14, and I know he's got to run the ball here, right? I mean, he has to try and run out the clock. And he was definitely hell-bent on running the clock. As you can see, there's seven attempts for 24 yards at one point. I think right there, it was like eight attempts for 25 yards. So he's not doing much running the ball, but he's doing it enough that it's making me bite on the run. And I bit on the run again there, allowed another nice gain, and he was able to pick up a first down. So, you know, it was, to be completely honest with you, I have nobody else to blame but myself for the bad plays that I make here. Third and inches, though, and watch my team step up here. This is a massive play because time is running out. I know he's going to run it all the way to the end of the you know clock pretty much. He ends up hiking it with seven seconds left though. And I do end up tackling him in the backfield, which brings up a fourth and two. He has a decision to make here. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is. He's going to go for it. Now, I'm pretty certain that he's not going to run the ball here. Watch what I do with my guy. I take him and just hike, run right at the quarterback because I knew it was a pass. Watch this, though. My guy does not tackle the quarterback. He runs right past him for some reason. Oh, my gosh. I was raging so hard. And I pressed triangle just out of complete frustration at the end of it when I saw that he wasn't going to make the sack on the quarterback. Still, Matt Ryan, despite taking a hit, makes an amazing pass down the field to pick up the first down, and that pretty much ended the game right there. I couldn't stop the clock anymore. I had already used all three of my timeouts. Ah, my first loss of the season. So frustrating. It was a good game. My opponent played a lot better than I did. I, you know, there's games where you play and you lose and you shouldn't have, but this is just one of those games where I did. I lost and I should have. So I appreciate the game that he played. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks, you guys, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon truly was for Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley. Jim Nance saying so long for now.